Well, I'm on my way to get the mumbles, man. We're going to start out at the button patch for a little bit, see if there's any buttons we've got washed out. Then we may go south to the land of Nada. Stand by for that. Look at this, look at this right here. God no! Get some points for that bad boy. Look at that. Here comes the black sand. No cuts down here. I was hoping there was a cut as flat as an aircraft carrier. Now, stand by. That's 11 or 12 or 13 or 14. Yeah, I, th I think it's a bottle cap. I think it's a bottle cap. You get like three or four. There it is, right there. Yep, there it is, right there. Bottle cap. Aha, uh -huh. we're getting the hang of them bottle caps. That's right. Uh, if he eight and eleven jumps around between eight and eleven, faint, faint sound. Solid 10 out of the ground. A big sinker. God damn. You turkey, you. Looks like junky aluminum to me. Look at that. Can. Can slaw. Good gracious. dig this target out I think I got it out and I got something else right here yeah solid 14 yeah
have, yeah. But that's not. Is, uh, uh, three knots is deep, so what is that, two, six inches? Yeah, but that's not what was in the hole. I just happened to hit them when I was trying to find what was in the hole. I think that might be, I don't know what that is. Stand by a minute. 15 sounds, a pull tab. And I dug the scratchy five and six. It's a coin, I think. No, damn, it's a bottle cap. Look yeah. at that. Ah, sweet. This thing loves bottle caps, I'll tell you. We got fooled that time. Dollar 21. 22. I'm thinking penny. Twenty-six. It's jumpy a little bit. Like me, I was jumpy. Might be a bottle again. No, huh? one bigger penny. Just what I thought. The first time. Budge. Maybe it's a nickel. Uh oh, I see it's already out. Looks like a piece of copper. Remember down here we find them little pieces of copper, triangle shaped copper pieces. I think that's what this is. triangles. Got no idea what they're for or what they did, but we found a lot of them. Sixteen solid. Solid 25, 24 I should say. That's jumped up to 20, 29, 30. I was thinking a dime at first, but maybe it's a quarter. Got a 27 that time.
25 out of the ground. Yeah, 10 cent, I think. Ten cent. Yep. So I was thirteen. Thirteen out of the ground too. Looks like a nickel.
got a solid one right here. We dug two dives. I guess you saw them. I didn't know the camera was on. Solid one. of aluminum paper. Come out here. Yeah, full of foil. Many times it's 25 today. Dime, yeah. Ten cent. You find anything else up the high? That's what I get, 11. I've got my iron bias turned up to 7. It doesn't make any difference on the pole cap. No, I tried I tried every setting there is on iron bias. I ain't seen no difference. This is a 10 or 11. I see, I see rust over the left side here of the pile right here. That might be a bottle cap. That little yeah. devil right there. You can't, you can't get rid of the bottle cap for this machine. I like the CTX. Look at that piece of crap. Corona. Ha! Some of them bottle caps are down around three or four, too. I know it. Real good. Time. Transit Connect. That's what I need right there. That'd be a nice knife mobile right there.
yellow spot. I haven't dug anything. Let's see if Mumbles Man's got, got something. A minus eight. I want to see what it was. A minus eight. He wanted to see what a minus eight was. Yeah. Right here. I think it's right in there. I think I see it. Yeah, I guess. Oh, my eight. Oh, yeah. You don't think it, you'll never know. Well, at 40 minutes, I got one target. Solid seven. Not chopping. Sunglasses, sunglasses. Sunglasses at seven. Solid seven. I guess they'll import the great stuff. Yeah. We decided to quit. Go home. We're just talking about the video. Give it a try maybe tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow then, Mumbles Man. Thank you, Max. We went and looked at two places on the bay, and you couldn't even get on the bay. The water was cr everywhere, crashing up and down, ever on the dune line. It's rougher on the bay than it's been the last couple of days with the wind blowing a hurricane, and the wind has dropped out some today. I'm going to, I'm, I may, uh, it's such a nice day, it's just windy. I may uh, walk down on the beach where I live. I'm, uh, five or six miles east of where we just left from. Thinking we might be able to get in low tide on the bay since it's low tide, you know, hour later, this and that. We'll have to see how that goes. Stand by a few minutes and I'll be there. So I was gonna ask you, I've been looking at uh, camper shells or what do you call them, caps, truck caps for my truck. I've been looking at a new knife sharpener. I'm trying to keep everything in my truck for these farmers markets and not have a not have to unload it, just pull the sharpener to the back and have it protected under the cap in case of rain were to ever get me. It works fine with this four door truck, you know, I can throw everything behind the seats, I'm okay. Leave the tables and chairs outside, the rain doesn't hurt it. But I looked at some uh, ARE caps, I looked at some Lear, and I looked at some snug fit. Snugfit, he's uh, he's in Ohio. The Lears and the Ares I can get here locally. I'm just looking for your opinions and any of you guys that use caps on your trucks for suggestions. And we go back to my neck. Some people want to know what happened to my neck. Well, January the 2nd, the truck that we're riding in right now was rear-ended on top of the bridge. Took 42 days to fix it, $10,600. New frame, new bumper, uh, new tailgate, et cetera, et cetera. And that's what got my neck. It seems fine going straight ahead, looking to the left, but when I turn to the right, it gives me a little problem. And I went to the chiropractor this morning. We go once or twice a week sometimes. And whatever he does, pokes with his thumb. He's a thumb guy. Pumps, you know, pokes you with your thumb. And it seems to be okay for a day or so, but then it comes right back. And, I mean, it's not unbearable, don't get me wrong. 
it's just aggravating like pain. You know, when you turn your neck like I'm turning right, if I wanted to look to the right, I'd have to move my body around a little bit. Somebody said, go to a, to a physical ther therapist and they'd be better than a chiropractor. Well, I'm going to try that little move in the next uh, few days, I think. Well, we'll get back to that subject. Stand by a few more minutes. Let's see what it looks like from my end. Oh yeah, it's workable here. I'll give it about 10 or 15 minutes to see how it does. Oh, this is not good though. If you remember the other day we were here, these were all, you had to walk down these steps. You had to jump up if you didn't come up this side. If you walked up the steps, you'd go, all right. So that means we've got at least, I'd say a six to foot, six inches to a foot of sand. Just made its way up here. see what's around. Well, we got a 15. Not jumpy, just solid. 15. A little jumpy now. really jumpy now. There it is. A capo! Brand new light. Ain't that something? Brand new color light! You crap, you. I don't know what we're going to do about vital caps. Maybe with time we'll figure it out. I don't know. Hard decision, bottle caps. This is a shaky 10 11. Let's see if it is all metals. I don't hardly get a reading. It gnaws out a little. I guess we're going to leave it. Stand by a minute or two. Solid 15. No variation, solid 15. Same thing out of the ground. 15. Oh no, not another one. You see it? A red ticket this time. Ka! Equinox, king of caps. Hey, 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 hey. Try to get me then. I had my back turned.
Here we go again. but it's very choppy and it jumps around as you saw I hope if this is another bottle cap I'm going to Rancho Max the gig meister told me he was taking a break today I believe he had the right move Solid 15 out, solid. Well, I don't see a bottle cap, that's a good sign. But then again, I don't see anything. Whatever it is, it's right there. Oh, I see it now, it's a coin. Oh, it was a coin. Where are you, Taquito? Ah, there you are. Pretty penny. I see somebody coming this way with the detector. The way he's swinging looks like John Beaver. But I'm only guessing at that. Stand by, he'll be closer in a minute. That is John Beaver. He says his detector's going crazy. He must be on a different rim. Same freak as I I don't hear him though. He's been on a long hike if he lives where he lives and the way he is now, he's been spinning. How you making I mean, it was, out? It was loud, oh, coins, coins and, uh, we went to the ocean front. We went to 48th and looked around for some buttons. We found some chains and Denny found a junk ring, but it was better than that. Then we went to the pier. That was a ball spot. Nothing. I dug a pair of sunglasses and Denny dug a tent stake and a quarter. Like Steve and, uh, Steve and Jimmy, I think, went to uh, Croatan and didn't find anything there. Steve told me he was staying home today. Like he was going to, but then I guess Jimmy called him up and said, hey, call me. And they went there and they didn't find anything. Left, we, I took Denny home and I rode by the other place. You know, you couldn't get on the beach there at all. I know. I know. Well, it's it got, might be we, better when you go back. Yeah, I was going to say low tides about it, you know about an hour away now. I was hoping I I, I walked all the way and then walked around it when yeah. I went this way. Yeah, you had it. Ten feet, did you? Yeah. Oh, token or something? <laughs> oh yeah, railroad token. Is it a railroad token? Yeah, yeah. That's Nor cool. Oh, is this in Norfolk on it? Yeah, I think so. Well, well I can't see cool. that part, but I think that's what it is. Oh, yeah, token. Okay, that's all right. Well, I'm getting ready for the roundup. I'm polishing up this Microtech right now. Remember, it didn't need sharpening; just need polishing. Coming along nice too. Ceramic paddles to start with. Wicked Edge. Fine machine. So here's the roundup. Four bottle caps. One quarter, one nickel. Three, four, uh, four dimes and five pennies, I think. These sort of glasses. That right there, that's the best of it. 
I'm getting ready to put that right in action right now. Right there. What do you think, Bago Jack? What? Look, look at him. He said, that's a nice ball. I want it right now. <laughs> There's a mumbles man's nut. He said the little ring we saw was a uh, pot metal. And we got a, a, a thing from Beaver. Let's see what Beaver says. He got some change. Transit token, oops, right there. Button and a junk ring. Oh, he's got a weed penny. That's a weed penny. Okay. I'm not sure about tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. Good luck, everybody. We'll see you.